garden cook. Today we're going to be making um, bean trips. First thing we're going to do is we have um, a cup of black beans and we're going to put it into this blender and we're going to turn it into bean flour. So we're going to pour it in. And for this one, who doesn't like the blender? It's got an RV. Get it on. It's going to take a few minutes. We're just going to pulse it until it turns into like a gray, um, just a gray, flowery. Mixture. Is it kind of done, you know? Wait, let me see this. Yeah. Mm. I think it's the right time. You think it's the right time? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we pulse this. We pulse that. And if there's no hard bits in it, I suppose it could be a little bit smoother. But there's no hard bits in it, so we're going to go with it like it is. What do you think? Yeah, it yeah. is hot. <laughs> I know, because it took a few minutes, didn't it, to pulse those into flour. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to make that. Now, I have, this is my Pampered Chef batter. It's a batter, mixer, and dispenser. So, I'm going to try this out for the first time. I'm going to have you pour three quarters of a cup of water right into here. Now, we are going to take some sesame oil. Sesame oil. We're going to oil. put a, a tablespoon in there. In here? Yeah, in there. No what? Whoop, whoop, we got to measure it. Silliness. Got it. Mm. So, sesame oil. Sesame oil. Oh, yeah. Now, we'll do some. Olive oil. You could probably use all olive oil if that's what you want to use. I, I decided to add a little sesame oil just to see how it tasted. We need the tablespoon. We're going to put a tablespoon of sesame of olive oil in there. So that's two tablespoons of oil all together. You can use coconut oil if you wanted to. Uh, doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter what you use. <laughs> that's right. All right now it's we're okay going to do. do Half a teaspoon of salt. It's, it's okay if you make mistakes. It is okay. We all make mistakes sometimes, don't we? Yeah. In here? Right in there. Here. Yeah. Yeah. How all of that goes in there? You want to put that in there? Whoops. In that. Icky. You think it smells icky? It's icky. Oh, I think it smells delicious. Now we're going to secure the top of this on here. Let me see. And if we're I... going to mix. I'm going to kind of spin this around. Up and down and spin it around. And it's going to turn into sort of a paste. If we've done it correctly, that's what's going to happen. I want you to mix that right around. Mix it up. Let's see how we look here. That looks all well mixed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the top of this off this. I'm going to kind of clean off the... That's the axe. Okay, now we're going to pop on this little device here. It's just a plastic cap that goes over the top of the mixer. And, and this is going to turn the mixer into a plunger. Nope. We're going to take these parchment paper lined cookie sheets. We're almost 
so and now we're going to take the bottom off of here. Oh, I know what we're doing wrong. Because we don't plunge it, we pull this thing. So then we're going to pull this handle. It's going to squish the stuff out like this. So the problem is you don't know really what you're doing. <laughs> I think that probably is the problem. But then we're gonna, we need to make them so it's flat, like this. And, we do, and if you don't know what you're doing, it's okay, because please don't Because we it. don't know what we're doing either, right, Lily? Yeah. Kind of a thing. I don't know what I'm doing either, so. Gotta make them flat. Okay. So I finally got it right. I guess I finally got it down to the bottom. We're gonna take this and we're gonna just squish them out. <clears throat> That's a whole mouth. And then we're gonna Make them kind of put them in flat. What? You should try to make them as flat as you can. So we're just going to kind of squish them out as flat as we can. Yeah, as flat as we can. Like chip sizes. Okay. Most of them are really inventive, so. They get small, but if they get small. If they get small, they get small. So it's not really a thing that's a bad, I mean, I mean, like. Right, we can make the chips any size we want to, can't we? Yeah. <clears throat> the chips are gonna, any kind you make them. See, you know something? What? My parents make me a chicken. They make you chicken? Mm-hmm. And it's not as good. It's not as good as what? As you know, your parents are going to see this. You know that, right? Yeah. That's funny. You think that it is? Okay. Squish some more out because they're all really Okay. Hot. We're going to make this one a little bigger. We're going to make this one a little bigger. And then let's make one right here. And we're going to put them in the oven. Okay, whoops, hey, hey, whoa, whoa, careful with those. Whoops, and we, and you want to try not to get any holes in them. Like, they should be all, like, flat with no holes in the middle. Kind of get, spread them as thin as you can. Because the thinner they are, the crunchier they'll be. And if you have holes in the middle, then they'll just they'll have a tendency to break. So try not to get any holes in them. I'm getting not too many holes in them. Now we're gonna put these in a 375 oven for, um, for seven minutes. Seven minutes. And then we're gonna yeah. flip them over. So uh, we'll see you in seven minutes. We're gonna see you. Actually, we'll see ya in seven. 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 Welcome back to Lily Rose Kinger Garden Cook. These, these chips we made are done. Well, they're not done. We cooked them for seven minutes and now we need to flip them over and we're gonna put them back in the oven for probably another 11 to 14 minutes. They're not too hot because I took them out a minute ago. So flip them right over. We'll just flip them over. <laughs> Why don't you just use your fingers, flip them over. It's really, so because they're not too hot. I took them out a few minutes ago. So we're just going to flip them out. All right, flip them over. Uh-oh, got a hole in that one. And we're going to put them back in the oven for another 11 to 14 minutes. See you in a minute. Welcome back to Lily Rose Kingard Garden Cook. We have finished our chips, haven't we? Mm -hmm. And what are we going to try? We're going to try dip them in a little salt to see what we think. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What do we think? Ah, good. 
Good. Get some more. Mmm. That is pretty good, huh? If you guys make this, it will be really yummy. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.